Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy for you guys to be here today. Today we are gonna be making the most delicious oven baked smoked chicken ever. This is so simple, so creative, and at the same time it's budget friendly of course. So let's get into the ingredients. So for this meal, you're gonna need some Creole seasoning, complete seasoning, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, chicken bouillon, oil, seasoning salt of your choice, and some black pepper. Okay guys, so I am using chicken drumsticks and you know they have been clean in lemon juice and water and vinegar and all the good things. So to the drumsticks, I will be adding seasoning salt. And then of course my complete seasoning. If you don't have some, you need to get you some. And then I have some garlic powder. You can add as much or as little as you like. I like a lot. And from there, you're gonna be adding, of course, your onion powder. Okay, and then I have fresh cracked black pepper. I like mine to be just a little spicy. So, of course, I have some bold Cajun seasoning. And paprika for color, because you know paprika ain't got no flavor, child, but. Then I have some oil and I'm using the oil because I want everything to marinate and to mix oh so well and I want to keep my chicken nice and juicy and I'm going to be marinating this in the refrigerator for a couple of hours so that oil just helps everything to get all incorporated and delicious. So here, yes, I'm mixing my chicken with my hands because guess what? My hands are clean. This is my family and as a matter of fact, you will notice that my hands are dry most times because guess what? I keep some clean. So yes, you're just gonna mix around that chicken. You're gonna get every piece of chicken nice and coated, nice and greased up, nice and flavorful. And like I said, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. And then from there, I have my cast iron skillet. And I'm gonna put all this chicken inside there. Yes, I'm gonna crowd the pan, cause guess why I'm not cooking the chicken, I'm just browning the chicken. And the cast iron gets really hot and it browns it really quickly. So it doesn't matter how much chicken you put inside it, cause it's all gonna be brown at the end of the day. So you know browning is flavor. I'm not cooking this right now. It's gonna go in the oven a little later, but I need some color on here. Now you can feel free to skip this step, but I don't suggest it. Nobody wants bland chicken, and like I always say, color is flavor, so you wanna brown your chicken. So yes, the pan is crowded, but we wanna make sure that every surface is touching the bottom of the pan, because we want it nice and brown. I start flipping my chicken, and as you can see, there's a nice color on there, so that's what you want. And we're gonna keep flipping them, because we want all sides to be brown, not just the top and the bottom, we want it all brown gonna continue to flip your chicken and how brown it gets is up to you I like mine to stay brown because I still like a little crisp on mine even though this is smothered chicken I still like a I still like a nice crispy chicken at least as crispy as it's gonna get with smothered chicken so you see my chicken don't like to cooperate but that's all right because you're gonna get brown too. So yes, yeah, just make sure that everything is touching the bottom of the pan. And like I said, I like to use the cast iron to brown the chicken because it doesn't necessarily cook it. It just gets it brown really quick. I think this whole process may have taken me maybe 10, 15 minutes and that's just to brown it. And this is a quick, quick meal because the hardest part of this meal and the longest part of this meal is just the browning process. The seasoning took no time. You put it in the refrigerator, go back to what you're doing. You come back, you brown your chicken. And then we're gonna put it in the oven. So here you can see I'm just taking out the pieces that are brown to my liking and I'm just flipping the other pieces. And um, yeah, the oil won't let me be great. So you do have to be careful because the oil does tend to pop up because we are frying this on a high heat. So you wanna be careful if you have one of those splatter guard things and feel free to use it. I don't have one because I have never figured out how to use it because I still get burnt. That's all right because guess what? We are making chicken. <laughs> It was chicken without a little bit of splatter, but I do want to figure out how to use it because my stove, as you can see, 
Whew, it takes a toll on my stove and I hate having to clean it after this process, but that's all right. We're gonna make it do what it do. All right, so now I'm removing my chicken and the last few pieces, I'm just kind of flipping them around because they probably didn't get to the bottom of the pan like they should. So I'm just kind of moving them around to make sure that everything is getting nice and brown. Like I said, you see, I like it a little brown, a little extra brown, but the chicken is not cooked. Do not be fooled by the color. The chicken is not cooked by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, so once I've removed all my chicken, I am going to head over to my baking dish. Okay, into my baking dish, I'm adding the cream of chicken. And then I'm gonna add the cream of mushroom. And then I'm gonna go put some water inside both cans. Now you don't have to fill both of your cans with water because you wanna keep in mind that that chicken is gonna produce liquid as it cooks. So if you added one cup of water here, that would be fine, but I like a lot of gravy. So to my um, mixture here, I'm gonna add chicken bouillon, of course, some complete seasoning. And then I'm adding paprika for color. I'm not gonna add any salt because the cans of cream soup are already salted and my chicken has been marinated. So all we're gonna do here is we're gonna whisk, and yes, it's gonna look crazy, and you just wanna whisk it until it looks about like this. And yes, it looks, yeah. But that's all right, because it's gonna be delicious. So that's all right, keep them chunks in there. So once you have everything incorporated, I added a couple onions. This is what I had. Now you can add bell peppers, you can add whatever you like. You can add more onions. This is about enough onions for my family. And then to this mixture, you want to go ahead and add your chicken. And like I said, we will be putting it all in there because we doing one shot. We don't have time to come back and put two dishes. Listen, who is washing all these dishes? Nobody. So guess what? We're gonna put it all inside here. So you just wanna go ahead and layer your chicken however it can fit. And like I said, if you want less gravy, you can add less water, but I like my gravy. I like a lot of gravy, so. That's why I did what I did. So I went ahead and added some fresh parsley because I had some and I needed to get rid of it. And why not? Look how pretty it is. I mean, like, for real? Yeah, we're gonna make it all fancy. Okay, so I have some aluminum foil here and I am going to spray my aluminum foil with some cooking spray because I do not want anything to stick. You don't have to do this, but this is what I do. So I'm just gonna cover my pan and then from there I'm gonna place this in the oven for 30 minutes at 400 degrees because you're gonna come back and you're gonna broil it. And you don't want your chicken to be dry, but you do want it to be cooked. Now, if you're using different portions of chicken, it may take a little bit longer. You want to check and make sure. So once your chicken comes out, it looks just like this. And yes, you can eat it just like this and be good to go. But I like my chicken to be a little crispier. But yes, look at how delicious that looks. Look at that gravy, look at the onions. Oh, so good. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in my broiler on the highest setting for about five minutes. And it comes out looking just like this. Yes, look how pretty it is. You can still eat it just like this, but you know, I gotta be extra. So. I'm gonna flip my chicken and I'm gonna put it back in the broiler for another five to 10 minutes. It just depends on your oven. My oven is really fast, so it only takes five minutes at the highest setting. So you just wanna make sure you flip all the chicken. And at the same time, when you're putting it in the broiler, the water is gonna start to evaporate. So you're gonna have a thicker gravy. So you wanna keep that in mind. So yes, I'm just flipping my chicken and it's gonna go right back in the broiler. All right, and here we have it. Some delicious baked smothered chicken.
cake and in the oven. Took no time at all. So simple and easy. This is how I plated it over a bed of rice. Look how delicious and brown that chicken is. So again, friends, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel and I hope to see you again in the next video. Be sure to comment, share, subscribe, and all the good things. And until the next time, bye.